Namaste. Today we are going to talk about a very very important spiritual technique. It is the 13th chakra. In fact, uh, the 13th chakra is the chakra which is above the head and uh, it is like a star. That is why the Indian uh, astrology talks about the 27 nakshatras. This is uh, directly connected with the divine light. Now, this 13th chakra sadhana is used to open up the divine energy and the flow of divine energy to increase the speed of this divine energy it is used. Normally, when you, when you do a prayer or when you do a punya, what happens is this, uh, this 13th chakra expands and there is a flow of energy which comes into your heart chakra. So you feel very elated, you feel very elevated and you feel very, very happy with it as a person. Now, this is also called as the divine grace. Uh, when the chakra becomes very big, the divine white light of God actually comes into it and pours into the soul very fast and people find a lot of ecstasy, lot of happiness and lot of things. Uh, they feel very, very happy into the life. And in fact, this happiness is beyond the five senses. Now, this is called as the Bentecostal fire. It is called as the Bentecostal fire, the fire of God. Actually, the, 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 the 13th chakra opens up. It's like a kind of a sluice gate. It opens up and there is a lot of divine energy and it kind of pours into the soul. The color of this energy is supposed to be the gold. Now, this particular place, Sagasar chakra, to the uh, to the 13th chakra is called as the antakarna for spiritual yogis the antakarna is like a pillar of light and for normal people it is actually a, a, what do you call it as a, a thread in the Anibesan tradition, the uh, what you call it as the Theosophy tradition, they talk about the building the bridge of the Antakarna. In fact, Master Chova in his pranic healing, in the advanced stages of the Arhatic Yoga, they teach this particular technique which is called as the building of the bridge in the Antakarna. Now what happens, there is a huge flow of energy which actually happens and then it starts flowing into the chakras and you are able to bring the energy into the hands. Now what happens, this divine energy, there is a tremendous amount of flow of divine energy, the entire aura, the mental body, the emotional body, the annamaya kosha, the pranamaya kosha, the manomaya kosha actually becomes free of kleshas and it starts radiating 
radiating in the golden light. It is called as the golden body of the yogi. One of the great person in the 20th century who had it was the great Vallalar. The Vallalar who had written the Tiruvaripa, who is a saint who, uh, who, uh, who uh, built the Jyoti temple and who also said God is Jyoti Yul, Jyoti Yul, Jyoti. Now he had the golden body. The golden body technique is nothing but opening the uh, opening the what you call it as the the 13th chakra and allowing the flow to come inside the sagasa chakra in fact the blue pearl is the third eye and then it enters into the throat chakra and you allow it to clean the other chakras it is like a spiritual cleaning which across happens in a person now suppose you go into a temple you go into a temple now what happens the temple there is a lot of vibration there is a lot of ritual which goes away spontaneously spontaneously the third uh, the the pentecostal fire uh, the what you call the 13 chakra opens up your energy gets filled up now it is like having a spiritual bath in fact uh, the the kleshas gets cleansed the aura and the chakra gets closed and you feel a lot of peacefulness and happiness into this particular thing and also it is a very advanced technique compared to the kundalini yoga in fact many great yogis have practiced it and have got the golden body across in fact the the so parama the jivatma merges with this uh, uh, what you call it as the 13 chakra and after that it goes into the paramatma it is called as the nirvik savikalpa samadhi or the, or the complete uh, samadhi which happens it is actually uh, what you call it as moksha you do not get a rebirth actually merging the soul into the uh, into the 13th chakra and into the divine light is considered as a most sacred thing you can do it on the earth but also there is another technique where you do it as power you take the simply the soul and you come out of the antakarna now this is called as the spiritual suicide when the soul gets dislodged and actually it comes from the sagasa chakra it is called as the spiritual uh, uh, suicide because you tend to die instantly across a person now this was practiced by vivekananda he saw a person actually vivekananda there was blood was coming out of his eyes and ears and all that and he was able to bring the soul out of his antakarna and anta kabbalah that is why it is called called as the Kabbalah Moksha. Kabbalah Moksha is nothing but the, 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 the this part is broken, the soul leaves from this particular place. It's called as a Kabbalah Moksha. It is called as the 13th Chakra Meditation, what you call it as the Pentecostal Fire. Now this is a wonderful meditation. In fact, morning you do, you will not be able to visualize. Please don't con yourself. Don't try to lie. There are a lot of pranic healers who exaggerate the truth. In fact, they go on exaggerating the truth as if they are seeing psychically everything. They are seeing various of the aura, chakra. They are able to say beings. This is one of the biggest lies which are being promoted by the pranic healers. Actually, many of them do not have the capacity for the opening of the third eye in fact the opening of the third eye is nothing but awaken from the spiritual slumber that is why the third eye the energy is passed down so that you awaken from the spiritual slumber now when you awaken from the spiritual slumber the first thing is you start talking truth to the people you don't try and tend to lie you don't simply say i'm able to see the aura chakra i'm able to see this chakra that chakra because i feel it is all false not everybody is gifted to do that kind of a thing so don't exaggerate don't market don't try to be pretending as if you're a great yogi across please avoid it a lot of people have that so the second most important thing is to bring this pentecostal fire it is called as the building the bridge of the antakarna and this will bring you a lot of peace and an influx of divine energy in fact for many people who do a lot of evil thing the sagasa chakra does not connect into the 13th chakra it is called as the cutting of the spiritual cord and then there is the black vortex energy this black vortex is uh, represented by the yin and the yang 
Now, this black vortex energy gets connected to the Antakarna and there's a huge black flow of energy which happens into a person's life very close to their death and actually that black vortex of energy dissolves everything into five elements and uh, it is an experience you will have to go through it to understand. This particular area is called the Sutrama in the in the what you call it as the in the uh, in the Theosophy tradition and also they tend to put the triangle. This is shown as like a triangle and then there is an inverted triangle across which is being uh, brought across to you as a person. Therefore, uh, these are the two triangles. Actually, they whenever they put the meditation, they put the two triangles across a person and then they try to show it to you across as a person so it's uh, very important you understand that tri that trident is the soul and the heart and the connection into the physical world is being uh, represented that way so it is very important that you bring down the Pentecostal fire the breath of God it is called as and when you bring it you actually are ready to go into Ashtama Siddhi. Ashtama Siddhi is opening up all the eight chakras into its full potential. And when you work in the earth element, you get the anima and the mahima. That is, you become smaller, big, because the earth is the physical form. Like that, each and every chakra has a siddhi. And that combined together, it is called as the Ashtama Siddhi. The seven chakras have seven siddhi. The eighth one is the, is the, the 13th chakra where you are able to uh, manifest that particular city across another day i would be talking about the essence about the ashtama siddhi across but this information itself is valuable and many people i can use it thank you for watching and i request you to go ahead and share this video